Hi everybody, I'm Tuan Vo, Project Manager for Invincy. Today, I want to show you how to send skip commands to your Invincy instrument using a Linux environment. So sit back and uh, let's check this out. First, let's open up a terminal to install pip, a package manager for Python. Next, type in the command sudo app-get install pip. Remember, app-get is only for Debian-based Linux distros, such as Ubuntu used here in this example. Once pip is installed, we can install PyVisa by entering the command pip install PyVisa dash py. Next, make sure your Enritsu instrument is connected to the network and is turned on. In this example, we're going to use the S412e. Verify the instrument is connected by logging into the instrument using a web browser. Once the connection is verified, we can open a text editor to write our first Python script. Before writing our script, let's save the file by giving it a name and a .py extension. To begin writing, first we'll import some useful modules such as PyVisa, date time, and time. Line 5 through 7 creates the resource manager, defines the instrument, its IP address, and socket. Line 9 and 10 sets up the read and write termination for the instrument to understand when a particular command ends. Finally, on line 12, we get to send our first command, which is the asterisk IDN question mark, which queries the instrument to identify itself and prints out the instrument's response. Note that the asterisk capital I capital D capital N question mark is the actual skippy command, whereas the print parentheses INST dot query is PyVisa and Python specific. Be sure to save the file. Here it is saved on the desktop. Once saved, we can open up a terminal to test the script. Use the cd command to change the directory into the desktop, as in this example, or the directory that the Python script is saved. Once in the directory, enter the command python3 space dot slash the file name of the uh, program dot py and press enter. As seen, the IDN command returns the instrument's information such as model, options, and serial number. Next, we will log into the instrument with a browser so we can visually see the changes made when we change the sensor frequency with Skippy. Line 15 sets the center frequency to 106.498 MHz. Line 16 sets the span to 3 MHz. Line 17 sets the resolution bandwidth to 100 kHz. Line 18 sets the video bandwidth to auto. And line 19 sets the reference level to negative 30 dBm. Remember to save the script and let's run it again in the terminal. As you can see, the IDN command displays the instrument's information first. Then, following a brief delay, the center frequency, span, bandwidth, and reference level also changes. Next, in line 23 and line 24, we'll put a marker at a peak and rerun the Python script in the terminal. After a brief delay where it's resetting the center frequency, bandwidth, and reference, the marker is placed on the screen. Next, let's print the value of the marker as shown in line 26. Here we'll demonstrate an error and how to fix it. Instead of printing an amplitude value at the marker, the script returns an error. To fix this, we'll add inst.timeout equal 50,000 
on line 8. Once the script is saved and we rerun it in the terminal, it returns negative 67.96 dBm. Finally, let's record this amplitude multiple times using a while loop as shown from line 28 through line 32. We first set the variable i as a counter and have it loop for 100 times. Inside the while loop, we will print the marker amplitude and then increment i by 1. As you can see, the script prints the amplitude value of the marker 100 times. This concludes our quick tutorial on how to send Skippy commands to your Enritsu instrument. For all of the commands shown in this video, take a look at our programming manual for your specific instrument available on our website. Please follow us on social media for the latest product information and promotion, and thank you for watching.